Hello, my name is Carl Holmgren, and this is the third in my series on retracting casters. Uh, casters for my heavy-duty wood lathe. And the casters for this lathe are a further refinement of those that I designed for the bandsaw jointer, the first generation, and my table saw, the second generation. The casters for my heavy lathe enable me to roll it up from the wall to work, to do turning, or to clean up around it. The casters retract easily, and the lathe sets solidly on its feet. And I mean solid, it's a heavy lathe. And I can retract them and push the lathe back into its parking stall. The casters are heavy duty steel casters. Any kind of rubber or synthetic would flatten too much and not roll easily on the cement floor. This is a, a, this is a Craftex brand lathe, but identical lathes are offered by Laguna, Grizzly, Benlay, and there might be others. But anyway, if you have uh, one of those lathes, or if you have a, a similar lathe, um, such as the one by Powermatic or others, you might like to uh, have a look at my plans. I'm going to offer plans for these casters on my website. Just click on the links below. Uh, my plans will include drawings. Showing all of the measurements and dimensions for the various parts. Include a complete list of materials and a cut list. And a set of instructions with color photographs on how to build the casters. And finally, access to a 20 minute private video of which I'm going to show some samples. I need to build a block for each end. I've got a 1x4 and a 2x4 and a whole bunch of scrap pieces of 1x4, actually 3.5 inches, that I'm going to glue together so I can saw out this pivot block or jacking block, one for each end. I've glued and clamped the pieces together for two jacking blocks. Next. I'm going to mark the hinge holes so I can drill the pilot holes for the hinge attached screws. Cut off the end of the uh, caster mounting blocks at 83 degrees. We need to make two pair of levers out of one eighth by one inch flat iron. I just bought two 36 inch pieces at the uh, lumber store and uh, cut them in half into 18 inch pieces. Uh, drilled to attach to the rear caster mounting block and drilled uh, at the other end for a pedal pivot bolt, 5 16 Then in addition to that, uh, sawed and filed the ends with this pattern so that I can put in, a, next to the pivot bolt, I can put in a stop screw that'll stop the pedal from rotating too far out and down. <laughs> 